Hey guys, it's Mikey. Today we're going to Dog Junkies. We're going to go do the live thrifting thing with Danny. I think Carrie's going to be there. We're going to have a blast, you guys. I'm going to show you all the fun, the good recap. Then I'm going to come back. I have some TryItTreats.com International Treat Box. My show is about buy, sell, eating. And today we're going to eat. I can't wait to try it. I got a little code for you guys. So let's go. Let's jump in the Jeep. Let's head out to Dog Junkies and let's get back so we can try some food. Yeah. Every month I'm like, let's go to the Dog Junkies. It's for the dogs. We get to see Thor. We get to go thrifting all to help a great cause so it's lots of fun lots of excitement if you watch my live show or if you know i got hernia again you guys it's no fun i'm trying to do the best i can to keep my videos going to keep my reselling business going i'm in a lot of pain i don't even get scheduled for the consultation for the surgery for two weeks and then last time i had it it took quite some time after that so the last time i got hernia or herniated I was working in the construction field. We were working a commercial job. I'm mostly residential. We did a lot of residential work in people's homes, but we had a big commercial job. And with the commercial jobs, you can't quite take your time as much. It's all about the go, 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 go. Get it up, get it out, get to the next one. The quality even suffers a little bit, you guys. So we had a lot of pressure to get the job done. We even hired some temporary employees to help us. And I was on a man lift reaching over reaching over for something and the guy below was like a temporary guy so he kind of didn't he didn't have much force up and i kind of just reached over there and pulled up and i felt something instantly burning pulling pinching right in my groin area i thought it was my belt was a little too tight you guys i've never had hernia so i just felt a lot of pain in my groin and i didn't go around telling all the bros hey my groin hurts so I just kind of kept quiet. I worked the rest of the day. Oh man, it, it, it was burning and, and hurt. Like I said, I thought I just pinched myself and I would recover. I had all that pain and I didn't even say nothing to Courtney the first night, but then I told her, I was like, I need a new belt, sweetie, because my groin, it just hurts and it hurts when I cough. And she said, it hurts when you cough. I was like, yeah, it hurts when I cough. And, and I told her about the pain and she's like, you got hernia, you just go to the hospital. So I actually, I actually even worked that Monday and then afterwards I was like, I can't do it anymore. I gotta go to the hospital, it's just hurting. I just work, you know, I'm in construction. I just power through you guys, he man. There's no complaints from Mikey boy. I just work and power through. That's how I always do it, power through. I went to the hospital and then I had to fill out the workers comp stuff and then I went to the insurance doctors or the workers comp doctors and they said, you're cool to work, just don't lift a lot. So I continued to work and I didn't lift a lot, but there were times where I had to move a ladder for someone that couldn't move a ladder or had to pick stuff up and really had to squeeze a caulking gun and that, that put a lot of pressure on me. And I, it was a very small family owned company. We we're all buddies. We, I mean, like I said, it was really small. We always ate lunch together and and we had a tight relationship or so I thought. So they told me basically they were working with the insurance company to get me the surgery. So I was hoping to get the surgery and time kept going, time kept going. And then my claim got denied. And that didn't seem right because I got hurt on the job and come to find out they were actually fighting against me with the insurance company. So they were telling the insurance company it didn't happen at work, even though it obviously happened at work. I had to appeal the decision on my own. I'm not a litigious person and I'm just calling a lawyer is not my first thing to do. But you guys, if you ever get hurt on a work, just call a lawyer. They got your interest at heart and they deal with it all the time. I continued to still work because I need the surgery. I need a paycheck, you guys. It was hard to not work. I mean, I need to make an income, so I definitely just kept working. It was a lighter modified schedule. I went home early a lot of days. I worked in so much pain just to get the check, waiting for the surgery. So once I got denied the surgery, I was like, what's going on? So I, my friend had a lawyer. I called him. He said, hernia cases are difficult, but you are in the right. So appeal your case. 
If you need any help after that, let me know. So I won the appeal. Guys, I went in there. Like I said, I'm not a litigious person. I went in there. I whooped up that lawyer. And they said, Mikey Bags, you're right. Insurance company, you got to pay. So I was like, well, of course I'm right. I continued to work and work and work, appealing the decision with the insurance company while being told we're trying to help you, Mike. Anyways, until it actually busted through my scrotum, you guys. After that happened, oh, I said, I can't work anymore. I'm done for. I mean, no amount of money is worth the pain I've been going through. So I just had to set it down. I scheduled my own surgery appointment, which still took a couple months, you guys. Stuff doesn't move fast. So I had to pay on my own and had to fight the workers' comp. And the workers' comp thing still isn't even settled, guys. It's been like three years. And they don't pay you for a hernia. If you get a missing finger, they know how much a finger a missing finger is worth. A hernia is just worth the missing time and the medical bills. And I sat at home. I, I'm ashamed to say I just played video games until I waited for my surgery. I couldn't do anything else. I couldn't make any money. I didn't know how to make any other money. So I just waited. And I also cleaned around the house. I did the best I could. I was cleaning the inside of cupboards, refrigerators, very slowly during the whole day. But when you got nothing but time on your hands, you can get some stuff done. So that was cool, just getting stuff done. But I was in a lot of pain. It was a little bit of work and then lay down and wait. So. I finally got the surgery. I had the surgery on Valentine's Day, which is also our wedding anniversary. That's where we went. I went and got hernia surgery. My poor sweetie carted me around that morning. Early, early we went in the morning. It was one of the rainiest days in Nevada. Floods were on the way back. It was a bad recovery for me. My stomach was really bruised and I was in a lot of pain. They said that doesn't normally happen like that, but mine was pretty intense. While I was recovering, I certainly couldn't go back to my old job where they had denied me. My super wife, the super court said, why don't you sell this pocket knife I have? And I was like, pocket knife, whatever. And she's like, no, it's valuable and it's desirable. So I listed it on eBay. She had an eBay account that she's used since the early 2000s. You guys, I listed it on eBay and literally like in two days, it sold for over a hundred dollars. I was so happy to make some money. It had been months I hadn't made money. And the months before that, I was making less money. And I've been working since I was 12 years old, so I'm used to making money. I was so happy to make some money, I started listing some more stuff around the house. I'm like, what else can we find around the house? And then I started watching YouTube, and I started watching Rally Roots, and they showed how you could legitimately turn picking stuff at garage sales and thrift stores into a business. And you guys, I started finding about bolos, items to be on the lookout for, things that were popular. And I just started grabbing more stuff around the house, Apple products, chargers, old video games I had been playing, and the stuff started selling. And like I said, I was so happy to start making money again. I just started finding more and started learning more and learning more and learning more. You guys, I made so many mistakes along the way, but I'm so glad. I'm so glad I got that hernia and it forced me into the life I live now. I'm working for myself, I'm being my own boss, you guys, and I'm in control of my own destiny. I, I'm almost in the boat I was in three and a half years ago, except I, I still have to work to make my money. That's without a doubt. If I don't list and mail this stuff and do my YouTube videos, that's going to reduce the income. So, I mean, I still gotta work, but I don't have to carry ladders. I don't have to do hard physical labor. I don't have to show up on someone else's schedule. I don't have to get to the job site at eight o'clock and I don't have to stay there until five o'clock, you guys. I can get up and if I feel good, I can work for, and this is what I'm doing. I get up, I work, I do what I can for an hour, hour and a half too. Then I go rest, lay down, let my stuff settle until I feel good again and then it's back to it. And that's what I got to do, but you know what's amazing is I can do it from my home and I still get to bring money in. Last time this happened to me, the money was zero, you guys. The insurance wasn't paying me anything. The workers' comp wasn't paying me anything. My boss wasn't paying me anything. So I had less hours, less hours when I had to work hurt. And then when I literally couldn't do anymore, that job, zero pay for months. It sucked. It was terrible, it's financially devastating to lose your job and income and not be able to 
to provide. What I really learned from this is the value of a side hustle, you guys. If you're just thinking about starting reselling or you would like watching these reseller videos because you're interested, maybe you're ready to retire, maybe you're injured at home, maybe you just need a couple extra dollars for some family vacations, whatever it be, I recommend just get started. Just list that first item, you guys. Brave up and start listing. And that's all it takes is to put out the listing and then you just keep listing, keep listing, keep listing, keep listing. And a few years later, you'll just keep on listing. It becomes a habit. Just start listing, just throw up that first listing. Try to get one, two, three a day. You know what three a day could do for you if you listed all month? That's, that's quite a bit. And you get more practice the more you do. So really the key to it all is just to get started and be consistent and accept mistakes and learn from them and move on. I am also, I wanted to let you know, just a one man operation. So when I'm out there shopping and thrifting, I don't buy a whole bunch of stuff because I can't list a whole bunch of stuff. Everything I buy, I gotta list myself, I gotta ship myself, I gotta store myself, and I have limited storage. I have a budget, I try to get as many items as I can that are gonna sell through for a good profit. We'll see how it goes. I just enjoy YouTube, I enjoy all sharing with you guys my wacky adventures, my reselling tips, and my life. It's hernia, I'm on the wait now. It could be It could be a couple months, literally, before I'm fixed, you guys, and my stuff hurts. Every day I'm in a lot of pain, I have to skip out on things that I don't want to because I hurt, and, and my nature, is to just keep going and not stop. But I learned last time with the scrotum attack that you, you gotta slow down. I have to slow down. There's only surgery can fix this injury and, and I can only hurt myself worse. Closing the door, even pressing the brake on the car, you guys, it all hurts, it, it all hurts. So I'm just trying to do the best I can. It's got to dog junkies, yeah, yeah. Gonna go have some fun, gonna go live stream. It's always fun to see what people like and want and support the doggies you guys so i think this is like my fourth or fifth time doing it once a month for the poochies my insides kind of hurt i'm wondering if it's even the smartest thing to be doing but i gotta i gotta continue to do what i gotta do the best i can until i can't and really there's a lot of people out there that are fighting lots of battles illness other stuff i mean we all got our things we gotta fight some much much more serious than hernia at least i can get this surgically repaired uh, at least we have insurance to get it repaired so i mean i just have to wait that's the unfortunate part but i am going to get better it's time to go in there and have some fun Oh, quick draw, dude! How's that live shipping? Are you guys tired? No, it wasn't too bad. Gotcha. It's jewelry day. Oh, jewelry day. <laughs> when you want to climb the wall or stand up right and shout, here's a little damn it down. You cannot live without. Grasp it firmly by the legs. Find a place to slam it. And as you whack the stuffing out, yell, damn it, damn it, damn it. JC Penny Bullwinkle candles. I know, isn't that cool? Those are super cool. There they are. Skagway, Alaska. Good to go. Got some Yankees hats. Seattle Emerald City hat. Ooh, is that a Tebow? Yeah. Tebow, kid Tebow. If I had more money, I'd be getting her. I love the little train cases. Dill, Rosemary, blah, blah, and time. Nope. That was very bad. Simon and Garfunkel. Mm. I think I'm going to buy something here today. What? I know. Snap-on tools, always some good stuff. Oh my god, Snap-on is amazing, and yeah. they're lifetime guaranteed. So, but I think it's a Snap-on uh, headset. Yeah, I so I think it's a collaboration with MTX Audio. I don't know. I love that. Looks good enough for me. I saw the loaded Pringles. I was like two dollars for some Pringles. I know it's Birdies. shuttlecocks. Those are called shuttlecocks. They are not. They're called shuttlecocks. Birdie. You say it your way. I say it. I know my way gets the laughs. <laughs> more exciting, <though>. Yes. <laughs> but remember, I went to Catholic high school, and that's where I played the best. So. I'm a shuttlecock. I'm a shuttlecock champion. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I am. Are. I am. I'm sure you are. 
There's a net, you guys. Oh, it's working. Ooh, here's the preview of what we got. Just stop looking. Stop looking. <laughs> Here, he's got to <laughs> stop looking. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's a badge idea. I thought it said, I thought it was a prison badge. <laughs> That would have been interesting. It looked like his prisoner, does. but yes. Shaving brush. That's a nice. I love men's shaving Never stuff. Never heard of one of those before. The razor don't touch his face. My husband is huge on it. My uh, oldest son, is a, he loves the regular old razors, and he got my husband into doing them. So I'd like to try to find him a nice brush with the soap. I have a soap thing at home, so that would be super nice. I know there's some fun stuff in this oh, no. tray. Dumbo collector's pen, Taiwan. Someone's gonna get this stuff. Is this yeah. stuff out to go probably today? Yeah, I think that uh, it is. No. This yeah. one is interesting. I have a feeling this is for ashes. Oh. This is my feeling, like a tiny ash holder. I see it, an ash hole. Right? <laughs> it's got an ash hole. I'm letting you know it is one o'clock right now. <laughs> <laughs> it's the get ready together before we go going live so carrie's doing the hype dance we're getting the last minute things are going it's uh the hype dance all right no dancing mikey no dancing hey, everyone's getting ready i'm building up i'm like waiting for the niche lady because we did we took a ton of dogs oh yeah bring my ton of dogs because i saw you this morning in our members only live chat we're at Dog Junkies, and we are going to get our thrift on, doing a little live thrifting action. Some of you are old pros at this, since this is our fourth time now. And what's what's the specialty of a home for spot? Like the we're the largest medical rescue in all of Las Vegas, which means basically we spend more money, about two hundred fifty to three hundred fifty thousand dollars a year on medical alone. Oh, you guys hear that? Yeah. So they get the doggies that need a surgery or they need all their teeth pulled out because they're rotten or whatever. Them. They you got know? burned by some yeah, jerk. Where the <laughs> shelters <laughs> don't put the money into them. The yeah. shelters don't do that. The shelters put them down. Yes. So I mean, a home for spot saves them, gets them into good homes. Oh, um, speaking of which, Thor. Oh, do we have an update on Thor? Oh, Thor. Thor. Okay, so here's Thor. Oh. Everyone remember Thor? Um, so Thor oh, oh. is in Thor. his foster quote unquote forever family oh. and he's doing amazing. Yay. Awesome. He smiles all day long they said. Oh, oh, all day long. He looks happy. He yeah. looks very, very happy. He's content. So everyone thank you for following that him. That is awesome. That's excellent. All right. Let's start with a little jewelry jewelry. I don't know why I said that twice. It just... Anybody interested in this baby? It's beautiful. I'll model it if, if that's what we need to get it to sell. If that's what we need yes, to get it to sell. Yeah. We're gonna battle. We're gonna battle those birds at the end. Okay. Battle in the bird. <laughs> I just had the bird. Brighton. Even Mikey knows Brighton. And look at this. Thirty dollars. Awesome Thirty dollars on the Brighton heart. Yeah, we got some good stuff over here. Oh, look at the little calla lily. That is really nice. That is twelve dollars for these little porcelain beads. That's Crafty Corner. So Melissa, do me a favor uh, on the spreadsheet. If anybody claims one of Annette's little prizes here, uh, we need to put like an A over in the left-hand column or something so that we just keep track of what Annette sells. If you would be so kind. Amazing lady who makes these treasures. I do. This is Annette. Yeah. Say hi to Annette, everybody. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Super fabulous and adorable. I love so her. These are all handmade with love and joy. Marcy Ellsworth said she this loves one, your pants. This one is. Hold on. I'm gonna get. It. <laughs> Ooh, it's so steampunk too. I love it. Were you just singing Little Red Corvette? Is that what you were singing? Yes. Little red Corvette. Ooh, ooh. Baby, you're much too bad. Okay. Alright guys, I'm taking a break. They're still battling it out over there, working hard, but I'm like, boy, I need the break.
All right, anybody can battle. Anybody can battle. Less than 10 seconds left on this one. Five, four, three, three two, two, one. one. Sold. <laughs> okay. Carrie, I want to take these home, but they're worth too much money. They are worth too much money. Lime model. But this, you gotta check it out. Whoa. And it's got all Holy the cannoli. Right mm -hmm. Who are the, what's the band Frank name? Zappa. Frank Zappa. Zappa. See, it just needs to the speak. heck is this thing called even? Oh, Frank wow. Zappa Frank beat Zappa. the boots. Amazing. Frank Zappa and it's got the cassette oh. in. They're not. Oh. All right, you guys, it's been a fun day at Dog Junkies. I've had so much fun. All of you guys in the chat, thank you so much. I recognize so many names, you guys. People were bidding a million dollars for Mikey. I can't believe it. And Mikey's even lame. That's a lame Mikey, guys. So I'm so happy, so proud to be able to help out the Dog Junkies and just have fun on Mondays, you guys. You guys get to get good stuff. The doggies get to good stuff. There's some great prices. The battles are fun. Can't wait to do it again next month. I'm hurting a little bit, I gotta be honest. Man, Danny's, they're going to Goodwill after you guys. I am so jealous, so, so jealous. They're going to Goodwill and they're gonna get something to eat because they need to fuel up. <sighs> Mikey Bags got to go home and rest, but I am gonna go try some good treats, you guys. So I can't wait for that and let's get going. I am so excited to try this box from TryTreats.com, you guys. They sent me a box. They said, Mikey, we know you like to eat, so here's a box. Here's a code for all the rest of the money baggers to receive some money off. Let us know what you think. So you guys, let me know what you think. It's gotta be Mikey Bags and Money, and I'm gonna put it at the end of my video because that's when I like to eat. I like, Mikey, you take care of it. It's all good. I got this box sent to me, you guys, so I imagine there's gonna be a nicer box inside, but I, this, this box has been here a couple days. I've been super busy, but I want to do the whole unboxing and let you guys enjoy it with me. Cracked it open, you guys. Plus, reseller life, free box. This is a sturdy, good little shipper. Double the score. Thank you, Try Treats. In case you don't know, the boxes are kind of like mystery boxes. They're international treats from around the world. So I don't even think you know what country's coming until you open it up. I don't know what country's coming. I'm pretty excited. Not leaning towards any favorite country of candies. I don't know. I'm not that world renowned in the candies, but I'm pretty excited. I hope there's some chocolate and some, I hope there's something sour. Do just Americans eat sour? I have a feeling just we're eating sour gummy stuff, you guys. You know how we do it. Big portions and sour gummies. Sour Patch Kids? I don't know. I know I like Swedish fish, but I think Swedish fish might be American. I have a feeling they're not really Swedish. Back to the box, you guys. Look at this beautiful box right there. Let's open it up and see what we got in this awesome box. All right, ooh, look at that. All right, guys, so it says, Dear Mikey Bags of Money, thanks for accepting a box of international snacks from trytreat.com to try. I've created an exclusive coupon code, Mikey Bags of Money, containing a 15% off discount, the first box purchased, at www.trytreats.com dot com backslash subscribe thank you so much i hope you enjoy delicious tri treats and bon appetit warmest regards roger owner of tri treats.com roger email me thank you so much roger i can't wait to try these we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten ten snacks and enter a mystery box giveaway and look at all these treats we got, you guys. I am so excited to try them out. Oh my, you're a waffle, what? Oh, geez Louise, oh my goodness. What is this, you guys? I can't wait to dig in here. They got an exclusive coupon code. You guys use Mikey Bags of Money to get 15% off your first order, and you can join in the treat club like me. So, without further ado, I got the super court to announce what I'm eating, because they got the little card, so I'm not sure exactly what it all is. So let me grab the first one out of here. Let's try the Animal Kingdom. This thing's got some kind of gator on it. 
Animal Kingdom by Cross. Animal Kingdom is a chocolate mascot on a stick sculpted in the shape and appearance of an animal. There are five possible mascots, bear, bunny, cat, dog, and elephant. Ooh. And you don't know which one you'll get until you open the pack. Gotcha. So I think I might have got the bird. I don't even remember you saying anything about a bird. I was hoping for a crocodile, honestly. But there's some kind of yeah, bird bear, in there. Yeah, bunny, cat, dog, and elephant. Okay, so probably maybe I still got more to do. Let's see. Oh, you guys, I got to share the opening with you here. It's got foil. Ooh, some chocolate. Yeah, it's, I don't see any kind of animal. I don't know what she was talking about. Oh, no, I don't know. Cass, look at that though, you guys. It's nice, it's thin. It's good. I am so hungry, you guys. I haven't eaten since I got home from Dog Junkies. Mmm. Oh, I could eat these all day long. Easter, Christmas, and Thanksgiving. Super court. It was good. Almost reminds me of like when you get the gold dollar at Easter or something. Or the chocolate bunny. It's very holiday tasting, I think. Cleansing the palate. That's snack one. How many snacks did we get? Like 10 snacks, I think. Snack number two. Let's see what we got in the box. You guys, I got a whole box of snacks we're going here. I am so excited. Thank you so much again, TryTreats.com. I appreciate it. This is the kind of stuff Mikey Bags is into. So, let's try some Smokies. These are, I'm used to little Smokies, but what are the Smokies, Supercourt? Let us know. Smoky by Stark. Smokies are crunchy peanut shaped pieces. They are supposed to be peanut flavored, but in fact taste better than peanuts because they embody a fuller taste. Its crunchy texture and savory taste makes this treat a delight. Roger, if you're watching this, I actually caught an error in your Smoky by Stark. I am an editor. Mm. I have edited two books. It's better than, not better than, you're welcome. Dang, Grammar Police. Roger, welcome to the channel. Mikey Bags of Money. I live stream every Friday night, but I always get busted for bad, bad pronunciation, commenciation, and spellification. So Roger, there's a tip for you. I guess peanut butter comes from peanuts, right? Because these things kind of taste like peanut butter. It makes sense. Fresh baked peanuts, they're good. Mm. Top notch, woody, anytime again. The original, fresh baked. Clooney wants one. All right, you guys. Clooney wants one. Clooney boy. Is this no, one from Croatia or Serbia? Treat. What? Is, who what? Does... The dog wants one. Super court said the dog wants one. Booch right, boy. Clooney boy. We got to share. Ready, boy? Oh, wasn't a good catch. He Let's see what it. he thinks. I think he likes it. Well, no, no he, he's, he, he ate it and then he put it back out. He's like, I think this is, is this a peanut butter? Is this taste like peanuts or peanut butter? It's like a peanut Cheeto. Oh, peanut butter Cheetos, guys. That's what this is. From Stark Smoky. Delicious. Recommended. I'm eating like the whole bag. Mmm. Guys, the first two snacks have not disappointed. This this is this is awesome. This is the kind of stuff I like. International treats just shipped to your house and you just get to try it and enjoy it. Mwah. So let's try another snack. All right, we're working down on the box. Now let's go and get another treat. Should we do it blind? Oh. Oh. We got some kikis, tutti frutti guys. I, you know I'm Tootie and Fruity. That's my nickname. Tootie, Fruity, Michaelicious, Juicy Booty, you guys. Look at this awesome clown in there with his little teeth hanging out with my little prizes in there. It looks like it's got, oh, well, Super Court, what exactly is this? I mean, I, it looks glorious to me, but let's hear the breakdown. I actually think it's not quite what you think. But oh, maybe it no. Is. I don't know. Kiki by Cross are fruit flavored toffee candies that are soft, chewy in texture and packed with vitamins. Each piece depicts the flavor of the candy inside, a flavorful treat, sorry, a flavorful fruit taste with each bite. So I'm, these are vitamins? They trick me with some vitamins? Is that what you're saying? I believe so. Are these vitamins or candy or both? 
because Flintstone vitamins are pretty tasty. I, I eat them like candy, but I don't think they are. You know what also is pretty tasty like candy? Some tropical vitamin C chewable tablets. Supercore got them on accident. I love them. They're like candy, you guys. So let's try a tutti frutti. Here's the lemon. It depicts the lemon flavor, you said? Yeah, it looks like a now and later. It does definitely look like a now and later starburst. That's all up my alley. Supercore, are you gonna try one of these? Are you gonna uh, get a- I haven't had a now and later in probably like 35 Ooh, years. You guys, see that's got the little bit of paper still on there, the wax. Oh, that's very now and later-ish. Uh, oh, <gasps> no, very you now and later. No, you have to take later. the paper off, babe. No, you can eat that part. So that's one lemon. We gotta get a couple of these things going, cause- Is it like a now and later? Mm -hmm, but better, it's soft. What kind of vitamins am I getting? Mm. That's what we're eating. The kikis. Oh, there's a little thing where you can check off the best, the worst, and the weirdest of them. Mmm. There's a thing where you can check off the best, the weirdest, and the worst? Yeah. Is that the thing to fill out for the mystery, mystery box that you can win? I believe so, yes. Mm. You enter that with that information. Yep, yep. With well, your review of them. Kiki's? Excellent. Turns out they got vitamins in it. Even better. Let's hit up these uh, Prima pretzels. The Primo. Not the not the Primos. The Prima. They're classic. Anything special about these, Supercourt? I mean, honestly, a pretzel's a pretzel, I would think. But Prima pretzel sticks from Stark are lightly salted pretzel sticks. They are savory and crunchy to the taste and a local favorite in Serbia and Croatia. Ooh. Oh, they're long. Mm. Tastes like pretzel over here. Standard pretzel. Mm-hmm, here. Mm. Guys, nothing to it. Doesn't seem quite as salty as our pretzels. I like it. Like the little Lincoln Logs? Oh yeah, this thing, like. Guys, you see that only that one little flake of salt? They're probably healthier than we are over here. I actually think they're tastier too. They're good. In a light way. Very light. Not overpowering, but you know like pretzels, you can just keep eating them and eating them and eating them. Mmm. Pretzels, we'll do again. It's time for the next one. I was grabbing blind. We're getting down to some chocolates. Pretzels, chocolates, I got some cookies in here, you guys. Ooh, I am not sure about this one. This one is the one that it's a, uh, what's up with the keister? Supercourt, did I mispronounce that? Keiston. Oh, Keiston, you guys, it's not keister, Keiston. Or Keston. Or Keston. Chestnut by Pioneer. A I chestnut? Know, Pioneer, Pine, Pioneer. This chocolate bar is a spectacular dessert made Ooh. with a combination of quality milk chocolate and whole chestnuts for a perfectly sweet and unique treat. Whole chestnuts, you guys, roasted on an open fire. I love that little diamond pattern right there. Ooh, that reminds me of eating when I was a kid. I love me some chocolate bars, you guys. In case you didn't know, I love, I love to eat and snack. So let's see what we got here. just kind of rolls around in your mouth. And uh, chestnuts, it, I, it was like really good and then I got more chestnutty and then eh, it's all right. So far, the least favorite. It's not terrible, but the least favorite. You want to try, are you into that super hard? Well, you, you really didn't sell it that much, but I kind of wanted to try it just based on the look of it. Yeah, the look, the sound, all that stuff sounded good, but just didn't come through, I thought. Oh, guys, poo face, big old poo face. Can I have a napkin? I don't want it back. We're asking for napkins, you guys. We're in big trouble over here. Oh, boy. Oh, Supercourt. That Just, one wasn't for me. Supercourt does not endorse. May I have a pretzel piece uh, to I, I, my palate? That's exactly what I was doing. <laughs> it's a pretzel. The water wasn't enough. So which one was Ooh, that? Oh, that's water? Which one was that? That was the... Uh, mm. That was the, the keister. keister. Smell like a keister, guys. Okay, that one now, wasn't, I don't think I cared for that one. No offense, guys. Everyone has their different taste, and I'm sure some people would rate that the highest, but Mikey Bags, Supergore, 
It's at the bottom. Let's see what we got next. And you guys, I got the light right in my face. Um, I gotta get a little better system set up here, but I'm late night, dog junkies all day. Plus I was out this morning, you guys. We gotta wrap this up. We gotta get this filmed. Mikey Bax is hurt, so we gotta do what we gotta do. And we are going with the Eugenia. It feels like a little coffee biscuit. What do we got going, Supercorp? The Eugenia, original by Dobrogia. I don't know if I'm pronouncing these things correctly. Oh. Eugenia Original by Dobrogia is a delicious biscuit filled with sweet chocolate cream, mm. making it a perfect cookie to enjoy for any time of the day. It sounds like a tea cookie. I called it, I felt it was like a tea cookie. It's like Christmas morning. I'm just filling these things and trying to figure out what my present is. Mm. Tea cookie? Oh, here. Oh, it's like a Milano. Mmm, Milano. It looks like a Milano, yeah. but it doesn't feel like a Milano. I don't know what you think. Don't let the Milano fool you. Let me know what you think. It's got, mm. it, it's got a little bite. The chocolate bites back at you a little bit. What's biting at me? That's the sweet chocolate cream. It has almost like an alcoholic taste mm, to it. That's the it? bite, yes. Like a little, little bit of some kind of liqueur or mm, something. Like a little kick The biscuit or is crunchier than I expected it to be and denser, but it's actually quite tasty, the biscuit part. Yeah, this thing's delish. Would do again. I might need a coffee. Darina Chocolate by Cross is the flagship chocolate product of Cross, one of the first chocolate manufacturers in the world. Founded in 1911, Darina is among the favorite of chocolate lovers in Serbia and Croatia. All right, here we go. Looks like it has caramel, but it doesn't say it has caramel. It's pretty hard to get open, this. Do you need me to do it, baby? You have a hernia. Yeah, I can do this. I'm gonna grab that coffee. Got that coffee going for my desserts, my snacks, my treats. And, oh, it's like a Nestle Crunch almost is looking. It does look exactly like a Nestle Crunch. I would put my flag on this ship any day of the week. Mmm. 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 I'm speechless. By far the number one. Way better than a Nestle Crunch. You gotta go across the world to get something that tastes this good. Guys, Super Court. It's not for me, but here you go. Guys, Super Court, it's not for her. <laughs> There's the evidence. Super Court is not big on the candy, you guys. Mmm, the Darina chocolate bar. By Cross. The Euro block. Oh boy, I yeah. can even see the thickness from here. Yeah, it feels I'm scared. Thick. It feels thick, like a thick chocolate goodness. Euro block by Tokovo. Oh, yeah. Euro creme block from Tokovo are two pieces of hazelnut chocolate mixed with milk hazelnut cream, Ooh. smooth in texture and delicious. Oh, another edit for you, Roger. And delicious, not and delicious in taste. The Euro cream block is like having a hazelnut chocolate spread into a bar. Ooh. It's kind of soft and melty. Mm. It's good, but it's nowhere near that crunch. It doesn't got the bite of the liqueur one. It's like the one I would eat like a month after Halloween or something. So let's see what's next. What do we got going here, Supercourt? Oh, I'm so scared of this one. Oh, Bananco yes. by Cross. Bananco is a banana-shaped chocolate-covered candy bar with a banana-flavored foam Ooh. center. Foam center. Foam? Foam center. I can dig it. Distinctive in its banana shape and flavor, Bananco is a staple candy bar in the Serbia and Croatia. Standard, you guys. That flagship was pretty good. Let's see what the standard is. I'm going to have to whip this banana all the way out because we got to check out the shape. Apparently, all the rage in in Serbia. Oh, oh, oh. It's like a chocolate-covered banana. You guys ever get those when you were a kid, like at the amusement parks? Bananarama, you guys. Oh, wow. So, there it is. The banana. Let's get ready for the foam. Mmm. Oh. A standard, huh? Mmm. You almost have to whisper into this one. You have chocolate on your teeth. Mm. It's not the first video. Mm. 
It's not a foam. It's a nice banana crunch. Crunch? Mmm. Actually, well, like, am I going to like it? Oh, this, this thing's good. I don't even want to share it with you. It might be the new favorite. I don't even really like regular mm. things. Enjoy some coffee with it. Look at that. Thank you. Oh, no. No. You really did nail it, though, with those banana pop things. It's like mm. a, a candy version of the ice cream pop, the chocolate-covered banana. Yeah. I had a lot of those as a child. This thing's legit. What's this one called? Bananco. 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 We're down to our last treat. The Euro. Favel? What's Euro that say, sweet stuff? The Euro Favel. And uh, I think these are going to be like those, uh, well, I mean, look, it's pretty simple. They got a pitcher on the outside. Is this some more hazelnuts? I don't know. some hazelnuts and Serb. What you what you think, Supercourt? I'm most excited about this most one. Most excited about this one. Well, can we get the deets? Oh, sorry. It's all good. It's our first unboxing here. Hopefully Euro we do a lot more. Eurovaffle features. Eurovaffle features. Two silky layers of chocolate cream filling and one luxurious layer of hazelnut cream filling. I knew it with the hazelnut. They love the Tied with the pretzels for number one. The pretzels are just pretzels plain, guys. This thing's got three layers of goodness. Mmm. It's very light and delicious. Mm. It's light. It's delicious. I'm about to go into sugar shock, you guys. So, trytreats.com. I can dig it. I loved it. There's a multitude of snacks. Snacks I can't get over here or would even try. So, it's been super fun. I got a sugar rush. What was your overall opinion of the box, Supercourt? I really enjoyed it. These are a little sugarier than the treats that I like, but I really enjoyed the pretzels. And I love the idea of it. It's fun to try stuff from a different country. So I overall, uh, thumbs up. Thumbs up, you guys. Two thumbs up here. I loved it. I'm definitely going to look into some of these other boxes because they seem fun to try. Maybe some summer sausages or cheese. I don't know. But I love TryTreats.com. Box of treats, you guys. Like I said, sign up below. Dog Junkies Day. Pooch Man. Yeah. <laughs> you thought he got a treat. Let me see. Where's a Snooky? He likes the Smokies. You want the Smoky Pooja Man? All right, you guys. Don't tell, don't tell your mommy. All right. So, till next time, Mikey Bags of Money. Thank you guys so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. We out. <laughs>